this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while, but obviously I'm very late to the party on this one, and it's about the Coleco uh, chameleon, and uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about everything that's happened because there's there's plenty of stuff for videos about it. I just thought I'd give my own take on it, and um, I'll probably even post some links about some people who, who go into them much more descriptive than I can. So I 100% totally believe that originally when the whole thing was set up and it was called the Retro VGS I do believe that they, they were setting out to make a console but I suspect that after the uh, Indiegogo campaign which fell miserably and uh, I think they really wanted to get the project uh, going again See the thing is with all these videos and stuff um, for me personally, I don't believe too much what I see online. It's just like one person's opinion against another person's opinion. Uh, but with everything I've seen, it's it's pretty hard to dispute. Now, photos are the evidence there. So, um, again, check out the other videos and they'll give you more detail. But I suspect what, what happened is after that failed campaign, they probably wanted to get something underway pretty quickly. So they said, oh, I just had this little one white light here. You know, it won't cause anyone any harm. As long as we can still make our machine, then that'll be fine. But uh, I think one white light became something else and then something else leading up to the uh, loads of issues and with everything that happened, happened today. So even some of the big websites, um, I have to hold um, to account for this because when the whole issues were being raised, especially at the toy fair about the SNES uh, in that Jaguar shell. A lot of these big websites were just reporting on a new retro machine coming out and absolutely nothing about the uh, the issues that were happening around that. I that was, that was uh, pretty bad. I don't know one website actually, I think today, posted an updated one with all the controversy, but I just wonder if that's just because of uh, all the comments and the videos uh, calling them out. Well, the Kickstarter uh, looks like it's been um, put on hold for the moment, but I, I, even if it does come back, which I'll, I mean, isn't I'll post another video as well. The guy who's actually supposed to be making the video for the Kickstarter, and uh, apparently he was lied to and he said no to it. So um, I really don't know what's going to happen with their Kickstarter. Will it come to fruition? I, I really doubt it. And even if it did, I really don't think it would have a hope in hell of getting any money whatsoever. Um, I can't believe that people would want to donate to that, that cause now. Um, but to be honest, I, I find this all entertaining as hell. It's just like, it's like, what can they do next to really screw things up? And uh, I, don't, I don't think there's much they can do, but um, we'll see what other things they say, because what they're going to really have to do is... Actually, I don't know what they could really have to do. They could come up and own up and say everything was a lie, um, but I don't think it really changes anything. Uh, could they come up with a working prototype, show it working, open it up? I, I don't think that would change anything at all, because um, they, they had their chance, and um, I think they absolutely blew it. 